Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. Go ahead and sing his song, Seth freaking Rollins. Um, side note, he was in the vote. Nobody voted for him, but he still got a character. Tamina Wen. Um, he is a modern era aggressive showboat. This is his second showboat character. Uh, the icon exists for those of you that forgot. Trainer ability at 26k. Any color gems do 40% more damage. And moves that generate juggernaut gems will create one more juggernaut gem. So here is the juggernaut gem trainer we have been waiting for. Links. Raw, any color move, start with one more move point. Modern era, gems do 5% more damage. No gears, but this dude has the most outrageous outfits. So if they wanted to add gear for him, they could probably add 12. Um, not that he needs it, but the drip would be immaculate. Um, I have a couple different builds we're going to take a look at. We're going to start with the gem damage builds. Uh, the first being with the finisher, 10 MP stomp, deal 536,000 damage, make 35 reinforced gems into green gems and pin the opponent. Green one is a chokehold 6 MP submission, generate 40 random submission gems and do 201,000 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into reinforced gems. And green 2, the Sling Blade, 7 MP. It's a combo move. De deal 99,358 damage and increase your yellow MP by 10. Then deal 99,358 damage and increase your green gem damage by 200% for one turn. Does not affect bonus damage. Entourage I'll be using for this. Steel for green MP. Big Papa Pump for plus two green MP and 50% more damage to green gems. Hall of Fame Yoko for 100% more damage to the reinforced gems. And Showboat Lex for a flat 12,000 to the greens. Uh, for the belt, we have the 30% gem damage preview strap. Two sets of Fury 2s. An all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. And the Seal of the Acolyte's ultimate plate. Whenever you make six or more submission gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for your next turn. All right. Y'all ready to see how outrageous this entrance is? Look at that little shimmy. Look at that little shimmy. I was kind of hoping he would conduct, but the shoulder shimmy is fun. Um, all right, so let's take a peek before we hit the submission. Green Gem's doing 40k. Because it's a three-turn base, I don't want to use a sub-reduction coach. want to leave as many of these on the board as possible. Um, 40k up to 55. 65 on the reinforce. Let's go ahead and hit the sling blade. Increase our yellow MP. Increase our green gem damage. So now we're up to 166 on a non-reinforced. 196 on a green reinforced gem. Uh, finishers hitting over a mil. We have, do have a yellow percent metal on. Uh, 35 reinforced into green. Full recycle. Pin the opponent. What's this going to hit for? We got all but two. It's 12 mil. 12 mil turn two. It's pretty decent. I know Mellow's got reinforced gems too. Oh, look at that little shimmy. It's like my cat chasing a mouse when he does a little butt wiggle. Um, so that is one gem damage build. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the reds. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at six star. We are running triple red. Uh, red one, the diving knee strike, six MP. 
deal 177,243 damage and modify a 6x6 random area into reinforced gems. Red 2, the pedigree 6MP, deal 178,666 damage and make 40 random gems into red gems. And then the 6 star move, the ripcord knee strike 6MP, deal 147,400 damage and increase your red gem damage by 150% for one turn. Entourage, I'm going to be using for this Butch for more red MP, Piper for 40% red gem damage and two red MP if you have um, Powerhouse Bulldog at uh, 21k. He'll give you 45%, so use that if you have it. Uh, sticking with Hall of Fame Yokozuna for the 100% more damage to the Reinforce. And bringing in Tech Stacy Keebler for the flat 12,000. For the belt, sticking with... Uh, the Double Fury 2 is the 30%. Bringing in the Bulldog's Bracers plate whenever you generate 10 or more reinforced gems. Increase your yellow gem damage by 25% and your red gem damage by 75% for 3 turns. And I don't have the Ghostbuster plate that generates a bunch of random red gems. That is what I would use um, first choice. However, I don't have it, so I'm going to be using the Sheriff's Badge. Whenever you break 15 or more red gems, generate 30 yellow. Um, so just some extra damage there tacked on at the end. But again, if you have that Ghostbuster plate, absolutely use that plate instead. All right, so 43, 31 on the yellow. So 53, 35, 66, 50. Nice. Go ahead and increase our red jam damage. So 133, and then on the reinforce, it's 166. Now we're going to turn um, the entire board minus five into red gems. And then this will trigger the Sheriff's Badge, which is going to spit out a bunch of extra yellows. Works for me, dog. Uh, 14 and a half mil turn one. Uh, if you have that red plate for the ultimate, that'll be a lot stronger. But definitely solid. You could also do the Chain of the Colossus plate instead of the Bulldog's Bracers if you wanted to. Uh, but 14 and a half mil turn one. Only getting stronger. Let's test out one more gem damage build before we switch to move damage. Next build we're going to take a look at is a slight variation. We're bringing back the chokehold submission in place of the random 6x6. Six six. Um, entourage for this, we're going to use Roxanne for green and red MP. Paired with the plus one from Santa Hogan and all of these moves are ready to go on turn one. Uh, using Nikki A.S.H. for 12,000 flat and Tech Stacy again. Changed up the plates as well, bringing in the Gremlin's Ears. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. And gonna give the Uncle Slam plate a try. Uh, when you break four or more blue gems, generate 10 random red gems at the end of your turn. This is just me trying to see if I can get some more red gems on the board. Again, if you have that Ghostbuster plate, use that Ghostbuster plate. Trying to see, maybe we crack a, a couple blue matches on a Cascade. And that helps. I don't know. Let's try. Okay, so 53k on the red gems before the sub. Now we're up to 66. Go ahead and increase our gem damage to 167. All right, 40 random into red. This isn't going to recycle the sub, so you're trying to go for a big hit here on turn two. 13.7, we didn't trigger the Uncle Slam plate. 
but I'm not going to sit here and pretend that 13.7 mil on turn two is bad because it's not. Um, pleasantly surprised at that. Pleasantly surprised. Again, I really wish I had that Ghostbuster plate um, to test out here, but that is going to conclude the gem damage builds. Let's go ahead and take a look at some move damage. Last build we're going to take a look at is the five star build with a move damage focus. We're bringing back the finisher, um, not for the green gems, but for the base damage of 536k. Yellow two, the straight sidekick, six MP, deal 178,666 damage and increase your yellow move damage by 200% for one turn. And the five star move, the snap suplex, one MP. Deal 116,249 damage and choose a 1x5 area to swap into yellow gems. Entourage for this. Kofi for yellow MP. Ozka for yellow MP and move damage because we want to start with this boost on turn 1. Bringing in Rikishi. Um, so when we hit the 1x5, we get 6 back. And then Gooker for 25% more damage to any color moves. If you have a Hall of Fame Rick Rude for the yellow percent, that's fine. Um, if you wanted to use K-Quick on the finisher for 50%, you can. I just feel like this is a little more beneficial. And then for the belt, I have a 50% move damage belt. Two sets of takedown twos. The yellow metal is not quite maxed out. We're leaving about 50% on the table here. And because I don't have the whooper plate, I'm just going with the head games. Throw out some random botch gems because we can. We can. I feel like this is going to do a massive amount of damage turn one. We're going to have to add up all the move damage, of course. But I feel like we could do that. Let's do that. All right. Instead, we we're going to add up. All the finisher damage. You know your girl had to go and get the calculator. Had to go and get the calculator. And because we're using the calculator, we have to get the math face. Math. Math. All right. Hit me with it. Nine zero oh, five two five one plus. Can hit that first. Some horrible at math. One seven six six seven nine six plus. Use this is where we cascade because I brought the calculator out. You know, it never fails. Just kidding. Uh, two, seven, one, five, seven, five. So I feel like I'm putting in phone numbers in a rotary phone. Aiden's like, what's a rotary phone? Uh, two, nine, four, four, six, six, oh. Do not cascade, please. Oh my God. Okay. Four, five, two, six, two, five, five. That's 12 mil already. We're gonna boost again. We're getting greedy with it. Four, one, two, two, five, two, four. We're at 16.9. We're hitting this move. We're not placing it though. And now the finisher is doing 19 million, 13,000. 141. That's basically 36 mil on turn one. If you want to, I'm sure we did at least 6k of yellow gem damage, right? 36 mil turn one. Six star bronze. That's nuts, fam. That's nuts. Math. All right, let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, sorry. It's not free king. It's free kin. Uh, there's no G at the end. But four different builds, the lowest one hit for 12 mil. Um, so a very fun, 
versatile character um, available in the 12 days of Christmas competition. Again, a modern era aggressive showboat. Trainer ability, any color gems do 40% more damage. And moves that generate juggernaut gems will create one more juggernaut gem. So um, value in the trainer as well. Raw link, any color move start with one more move point. And modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. But let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. I know a lot of you are big fans of Mutant Seth. Does this Seth Rollins change where you would put him on your Seth Rollins tier list? Um, I know Dear You is going to say Zombie Seth the Goat. They ain't lying. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this new Seth Rollins. Where does he fit amongst um, modern showboats with Mello, showboats in general with Regal and Taker, other Seth Rollins, any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up in the comments of this video or in my Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and go join a boss lobby.